Hey folks, so we didn't talk a lot about deployment on NX and how to do that with NX, although obviously we've been using that with our clients for a long time. But deployment can be very specific to your setup, but also to the environment you're going to deploy to. Now this is going to change in the future, since we're currently investigating to give you more guidance, more examples and videos, of course, of how to deploy to specific environments. So let's get started today with deploying edge functions to Netlify specifically. So starting with NX16, what you can do is create a new NX workspace and add the preset at NX Netlify to create a new workspace dedicated for just deploying Netlify functions. Now, if you open this up in VS Code, you immediately see this functions folder at the top. And that is where our Netlify functions are hosted, or specifically where already an example of such a Netlify function has been created. Now, you might notice that this is not a monorepo setup. This is a standalone NX setup, as the main purpose of this specific one is to create and publish Netlify functions. So what it did also for us is create the Netlify TOML file here. And so this is already configured such that you can just run it locally, but also then deploy it to Netlify environment. And in fact, if we go into the project JSON, which is where all the targets are configured that an X can run, we already see a new serve functions target, and there's also deploy or deploy functions target, which leverages the underlying Netlify CLI to either serve it locally or deploy it to some environment. And in fact, we can now just run npx nx serve functions, which then uses the Netlify CLI under the hood and serves it up locally. And what we did here is just embed here a static index.html file, which you can see here in the public folder, just to show you something. And so if you can click on here, you can see the actual Netlify function running, which returns here the response message that we have seen in the file before. Now, this is a specific case where you already start with the intention to just publish a couple of Netlify functions, which you might expose as an API to be used in some other project. Very often though, it happens that you already have a project and you just want to add something on top. So basically you want to add a couple of Netlify functions on top of an existing node project. So rather than starting with a new project, what we, you do is you add it on top of an existing one. Now I don't have one just yet, so let me create a simple NX workspace based node application. And I'm choosing here Fastify as my framework as an example. But you can just use basically Express, Fastify, Koa, even Nest.js and add it on top. So let's go with Fastify. I don't necessarily want to have a Docker file just yet because we're more interested about the Netlify integration at this point. And so again, looking at this in VS Code, what you get again is such a standalone NX product setup that here specifically generates a Fastify node app. And so if you go into the product JSON, in fact, we see the various build targets, the serve targets that are all meant to serve a node application. So if I do NX serve here at localhost 3000, I'll get my Fastify application serve. And that Hello API is what is being served here inside my routes from the Fastify application. Now this is all good and nice, but what if I want to add a Netlify function on top? Well, what I would do is, first of all, I can commit all the changes here and then install the add NX Netlify package. And I can add that as a dev dependency because we are just using that for generating an initial scaffold, generating the potential Netlify TOML file configuration, and basically get faster up to speed. You could all configure that by yourself manually and by going through the Netlify docs. And so now that I have the package installed, I have a generator at hand that I can run with NXG at NX Netlify setup functions. Or if you want to have it more handy, I usually go to the NX console, generate, and then say setup functions. And now you can see here, I have this Netlify package that exposes such a generator. So I go in here, I choose the project, which is my Fastify app. And now it will create a new functions folder for me. It again creates that public index.html, which we have seen before. It updates my project JSON, the package JSON, and also the Netlify TOML file. So let's have a look what happens here if I run this. If I open up here the Git configuration and the Git comparison, you can see we obviously get that Netlify TOML file that we have seen previously. In the project JSON, we now get a serve function and a deploy function. Again, both delegate to the Netlify CLI underneath, but this is meant for deploying our Netlify function specifically. And we also get some updates here in the package JSON because obviously we installed the Netlify package here, and this is the one that we have 
installed before to get the generator support. Finally, we also install Netlify CLI so you have it locally in your project and therefore you can then in the project JSON defer commands like this one. And so again, to serve my Netlify function now, instead of just running NX serve, which would serve my Fastify application, I just use NX serve functions. And this would now again use the Netlify CLI to serve the function locally. And you can see it being spin up here. Now, when it comes to deployment, we now have basically two different things here. We have, first of all, our normal Fastify applications, and we can deploy that to Netlify as well, or to some other hosting provider potentially. And we have our functions that we deploy separately to Netlify. And this is also the main reason why in the project JSON here of our application, you have the build, which is this one here. And you could potentially also have the Docker set up for the Fastify compilation. And you have to deploy functions, which is specifically for deploying that single Netlify function or the potentially multiple Netlify functions. Now let's try this out. First of all, you should have either already a site configured, and in which case you could just go ahead and append the site here. Netlify CLI comes with a site flag that you can then give the site ID. Or in a workspace, you can just run npx Netlify in it, and this would set up the project locally here for Netlify. And so this guides you through a couple of different questions. So basically, whether you want to create and deploy your site manually, yes, we want to do that. What team is it? Is there a site name already? I could give it a site name. So my Netlify NX1, just to make sure I don't collide with any other example. And now you can see a new site was created and linked to my project. So what happened is that we got such a new Netlify folder here with information about the site ID stored inside it. So now I can just go ahead and run npx nx deploy function. And this would now deploy our function directly to Netlify. And so in a bit, you can see now we get such a draft URL. And so if I click this and open it up, we can see it is now deployed on Netlify. We can see that we got our API served now on Netlify itself. Now, this is a draft URL, therefore, because we didn't append the prod flag here. And so Netlify by default creates such draft URLs, which might be useful for testing. If you are then certain that our function is all right and done, we can actually supply the prod flag. Now in NX specifically, we have set this up already in the configurations. And so when you run this deploy function with the production configuration, or even just add dash dash prod, it would automatically use this command rather than this command. So it overrides it. And so basically, if I go ahead and run NX deploy functions dash dash prod, it would now go ahead and deploy it to a production environment, which is usually equal to my site ID and Netlify app. And in fact, now you can see how it is being served up here. And if I open it up, I can see the same function now deployed to my, what is called production environment. Now, as you can go on Netlify, configure your custom domain or configure some more options directly there. Definitely. And so this is basically to give you a quick start on setting up Netlify function in your node project. From there on, you can just go ahead, add new node functions, make sure you configure also your Netlify TOML file and keep deploying. Definitely go and check out our docs, which have a guide on about exactly these steps. And also make sure to check out the Netlify docs for more in-depth details about how Netlify functions work, what benefits you get, and how you can configure them in the most optimal way. Hope this was helpful. See you all in the next one.